What if I told you the universe is more than just a vast expanse of space? It could be a giant brain. Groundbreaking evidence from leading scientists reveal connections between cosmic structures and neural networks, suggesting our understanding of reality is on the brink of a seismic shift. Imagine the implications of the cosmos as a conscious being. This would shatter everything we thought we knew about the world. Armed with cutting edge technology, we can begin to decipher the universe's thoughts and decisions. Join me on this mind-bending exploration that could revolutionize science. I'm Carlos Farias, and my mission is to answer the ultimate question, why are we here? I study metaphysics and along with you, learn from the brightest minds on the planet. If you could shrink the universe down to the size of your brain, would you even be able to tell the difference? I've been thinking about this question ever since I was a kid watching my favorite TV show, The Simpsons. They had a couch gag where the camera zooms out to the edge of the universe, then loops back around to Homer's brain. Wow. That stuck with me until I discovered the 2020 paper, the quantitative comparison between the neuronal network and the cosmic web by Vaza and Filetti. Let's jump right into our first section on structural similarities. Both the human brain and the universe are organized in hierarchical networks. In the brain, neurons connect to form circuits and columns, leading to specialized functional areas that process information efficiently. Likewise, in the universe, galaxies group into clusters and superclusters, connecting through filaments, creating the vast voids of the cosmic web. There are striking similarities in their makeup too. The brain is about 77% water, essential for neural function, the universe is about 73% dark energy, which drives cosmic expansion. In each system, about one quarter consists of active components, signals in the brain versus energy in the universe that facilitate communication. This parallel emphasizes that both systems rely heavily on a passive material, water for the brain and dark energy for the universe, shaping their structures without directly influencing internal dynamics. In a direct quote from the paper, the similarity between the cerebellum and the dark matter distribution of the cosmic web is remarkable. For those who love the nitty gritty details, here are the total estimated number of nodes. For every neuron in the human brain, there's about 30 galaxies in the universe. They both have similar average connections per node, five per neuron and four per galaxy. And even the memory capacities of each system are within striking distance, estimated at 2.5 petabytes for the human brain and 4.3 petabytes for the universe. More on this later. Now that we've gotten some basic specs down, let's wrap up this section with three slightly more advanced concepts from the paper. The last one is my favorite. The first is clustering. Neurons group into circuits and galaxies cluster along dark matter filaments. Research shows that the clustering coefficient, a value of how tightly connected a network is, is higher in the human brain than in the cosmic web. This means the brain has a denser and more interconnected network structure, enhancing its efficiency in processing information compared to the more loosely connected structure of the universe. The second advanced concept is degree centrality, which measures the number of node connections in a network. Both the brain and universe have degree centrality values three to four orders of magnitude higher than random networks, highlighting their structured connectivity. But the brain has higher degree centrality with tightly packed neurons enhancing connectivity. The cosmic web has lower centrality, indicating galaxies are less interconnected with connections following a Poisson distribution. Our final concept is my favorite, clumpiness. The researchers used a tool from cosmology called the density power spectrum analysis, which reveals how the universe evolved and how gravity has pulled matter together over time. It's like a fingerprint that reveals the universe's history. 
As one science author writes, it's an approach that gauges the strength of structural fluctuations at specific spatial scales, revealing the unique melodies these networks create. What's astounding is that 40x magnification, the power spectrum of brain slices closely matches the cosmic web's simulated curve, indicating shared structural complexities and information processing capabilities. Research found other networks, such as sky clouds, tree branches, and turbulences, did not share this alignment. Only the brain and the universe did. So those were some interesting structural similarities, but I think the next section holds even more compelling evidence. We're covering the parallel dynamics between the brain and the universe. All right, brain. You don't like me and I don't like you. But let's just do this and I can get back to killing you with beer. It's a deal. We're going to cover three big ideas. Self-organization, information flow, and fractals. Each of these could fill an entire video, but we're going to rapid fire through them. First, self-organization. Both the brain and the universe organize themselves in amazing ways through complex interconnectivity and the emergence of hierarchical modularity. Despite their vast differences, nerve cells in the brain versus gravity in the cosmos, their self-organization follows common principles. One intriguing hypothesis centers around gamma waves, which help different parts of the brain work together. Gamma waves linked to attention, memory, and heightened consciousness in the brain could have a cosmic equivalent. Gravitational waves generated by colliding black holes create ripples in space-time, similar to how gamma waves synchronize brain activity. Although speculative, other phenomena in the universe may generate oscillations similar to neural gamma waves, hinting at a form of cosmic awareness. Before we move on to number two, if you're enjoying yourself, please like and subscribe to see more videos like this. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you. Next, let's talk about how information flows in both systems. The human brain, with its intricate web of neural connections, stores and processes information through electrochemical signals. Remarkably, the cosmic web appears to do something similar, but on a much larger scale. Recent studies estimate that the information processing capabilities of these two systems are surprisingly comparable. As mentioned earlier, the human brain has a memory capacity of about 2,500 terabytes, while the cosmic web has an estimated 4,300 terabyte capacity. Despite the vast difference in scale, this similarity hints at a deeper connection between these two complex systems. While we understand how the brain processes information fairly well, the same cannot be said for the universe. Certain phenomena in the cosmos hint at potential information encoding and processing capabilities. One intriguing example is the concept of quantized redshift, where the observed redshift values of distant galaxies appear to occur in discrete steps rather than a continuous spectrum. Some researchers speculate that this discreteness could be indicative of a universal conscious design, drawing parallels to the discrete neural oscillations observed in the brain via alpha, beta, and gamma waves. Another fascinating parallel emerges between the black hole information paradox and the brain's ability to store and retrieve information. According to some theories, Black holes may preserve information about the matter they consume, albeit in a form that is not readily accessible. This bears some resemblance to the way the human brain stores memories, which can sometimes seem lost, but may be retrieved under certain conditions. One of the leading theories of consciousness, integrated information theory, posits that consciousness emerges in systems with high levels of unified information. The complexity of the universe viewed through the lens of IIT, raises provocative questions about the potential for cosmic consciousness. And finally, fractals. Both the brain and the universe exhibit a scale-free network topology characterized by highly connected hubs. In the brain, certain regions function as central hubs, facilitating communication between different areas. While in the cosmic web, 
Massive galaxy clusters serve as hubs connecting vast filaments of matter. The scale similarities are particularly noteworthy, as neurons and galaxies represent only a small fraction of their respective systems. This allows for efficient information transfer across vast distances, whether micrometers or light years. Both systems exhibit fractal-like branching patterns, a fundamental organizational principle reflected in the dendritic structures of neurons and the distribution of matter in the cosmic web. These fractal patterns indicate that similar processes govern the formation of complex networks across vastly different domains. The concept of hollow fractogramic physics has been proposed to explore these shared principles, potentially offering a unified framework for complex systems at all scales. Erwin Schrödinger, the renowned physicist, proposed a radical idea that a singular consciousness might underlie the entire universe. He famously stated Atman equals Brahman, drawing from Indian philosophy to suggest that individual minds are facets of a greater universal mind. This concept of a unified consciousness permeating all of reality aligns with the observed structural and dynamic similarities between the brain and the cosmos. Even the often skeptical Sabine Hassenfelder is open to the idea, penning this article in Time Magazine, maybe the universe thinks, hear me out. There are so many other fascinating areas we can explore off this topic, I want to leave you with one last idea. We've all been amazed by the results of AI the past few years. ChatGPT is itself a neural network. Their components, simpler artificial neurons and limited connectivity, capture only a fraction of brain functionality. However, recent research shows that, under certain conditions, these networks can mimic features of quantum mechanics, general relativity, and string theory during training. There is a current trend to enhance artificial neural networks by making them more brain-like, focusing on increasing the realism of artificial neurons and their connectivity. Maybe one day these brainy AIs will create their own baby universes. If you're interested in learning more, check out my next video linking physics to mythology on the cosmic Ouroboros. Thank you for watching.